What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Harry the Horse Barbecue and today we're gonna see if we can turn this offset cooker into a direct heat cooker. No chud box? No problem? We're about to find out. Let's get it. Harry the Horse Barbecue. When it comes to barbecue, there are probably three major styles of cooking that people go to to produce the best barbecue they possibly can. One is an offset cooker. This could be in the form of a traditional flow offset, a reverse flow offset, pellet grill, anything like that where we're burning some sort of wood to create smoke flavor. The second category would be something along the lines of charcoal, which it could be a direct heat style cooker like a chud box, even something like a Weber Smoky Mountain. And the last major method of barbecuing would be just a charcoal grill, that direct high heat grilling that everyone loves for steaks, for chicken, things like that. And that could be something like a PK grill, a Weber kettle, something along those lines. Direct heat hill country barbecue is not something I've ever really practiced and I don't have access to because you want some distance between your meat and the coals. That space between the meat and the coals allows the fat to drip down, hit the coals and create this almost like fat smoke flavor that really seasons and flavors the meat. Now, since I don't have that style of a cooker, I'm gonna see if I can turn this cooker into a somewhat direct heat style cooker. All we're gonna do is we're going to light a fire, burn some wood down into coals, open up the cook chamber, remove the bottom grate, and then we are going to just shovel coals into the base of this offset cooker and have a little bit of space between the top rack and the base of the chamber and hopefully create some really cool improv hill country direct heat style barbecue. Let's get our charcoal lit. While we let this charcoal get hot, I gotta give credit to one of my subscribers, Brandon. He thought of this method and totally allowed me to share it with y'all. And I think it's a genius method. We're essentially gonna use the firebox to burn down this charcoal and some wood splits into coals and basically using it like a burn barrel, shovel those coals into the cook chamber and hopefully create some awesome direct heat style barbecue. So while the coals get hot, let's set up this cooker for some direct heat style barbecue. All right, so we open up the cook chamber and you can see I have two racks. If I take out the bottom rack, place this to the side, but you can see that from the top rack to the base of the cook chamber is about a foot and a half to two feet. Will this alleviate my lack of chud box problems? I don't know. That's a realm of barbecue I'd love to get into. So Brad, if you're listening, if you're watching, can I come cook on a chud box, please? Your boy ain't got money for a chud box right now, but maybe one day. We'll let these coals get hot, throw them in the firebox, throw some wood in there, burn those down to ashes. We're gonna shovel them in. Charcoal in. I'm just using some janky old pieces of wood because we're not looking for smoke flavor here from this wood. We're looking to just burn it down into coals and use those coals to create a direct heat style cooker. Just like creating a burn barrel, we're gonna burn all this down, shovel it in the cooker. All right, our wood is officially burned down into some nice coals. Let's shovel them in. Archel, and just like that, I've set my cooker up to be a direct heat style cooker. I'm gonna shut this down. Boom, shakalaka. And I'm gonna see what kind of temps we're getting from here. We're already at 300 degrees on this cooker. This method seems like it's gonna be working. Now, if you wanna see me utilize this method, check out my upcoming pork steak video and see if this method is actually a success or a huge fail. Let's give them a check. Ooh. 
Can we just take a looky-loo at that? Oh man, those are looking good. We're gonna give them all a flip. Let's hit them with our mop sauce. Oh yeah. Just hear that sizzle. Thank you all for tuning in to Hire the Horse Barbecue. I really appreciate you checking out this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I know you want to do it. We're coming up with innovative methods to cook barbecue. Hit that subscribe button below. You know this method is going to lead to some crispy exterior of some barbecue. So leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below of what you want to see me cook using this direct heat style hill country barbecue style method. I feel like the possibilities are endless using this method and it really helps out if you do not have a direct heat style cooker. If you want to see me cook on a chud box, leave a comment down below, leave a like on this video, and go tell Brad from Chud's Barbecue that you want to see me cook on a chud box. You can follow me on Instagram at Harry the Horse Barbecue. Tag me so I can see what y'all are cooking because it really inspires me to get out here and cook. And with that being said, there's only one more thing, y'all. You heard this one straight from the horse's mouth. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.